All right, guys, it's time for an unboxing. This is from Raven Concealment. It's the belt holder for the Surefire E2D Defender. So let's get right into it. Pretty sure I have to assemble this thing. So uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, cool. It was already put together. Um, I was under the impression that it comes um, disassembled, <laughs> so to speak, but I guess not. Okay, so that's it. Just an invoice in there. And here it is, guys. This runs. This will run you $49.99, and I think this is exactly... Um, gonna, this is going to work probably exactly how I want it to. I'm hoping. Let's uh, see... Uh, take a look at the quality here in a second. Man, is there going to be enough room? First thing I'm seeing here, is there going to be enough room for my gun belt to fit? There's not much room once you get here, but uh, sometimes you got to kind of, you know, test it out. First, sometimes things look like they won't work and they will. Uh, let's go ahead and test the light for fit, and I will give you guys a close-up on this as, as well um, to show you the quality of it. Exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I do not believe that there is a way to accidentally lose this light in this type of a holder. Um, and it will be right where I need to grab it and come up. It will loosen up just a touch, just a touch probably. But the thing is, is it feels really secure. And always remember, when this stuff is on your belt, it's always much more easier to uh, holster and unholster things, so to speak, you know, than it is when you're holding it out here and there. But this, I mean, this is really, really nice. That's an excellent fit right there. Very nice. I'm going to leave the clip on there. Uh, when I carry it. So, uh, let's take a look at some close-up shots. Okay, so here we go. There's the belt loops, one and a half. There's what the inside looks like there. Nice screws, rivets. Not rivets, but uh, these metal keepers here. <laughs> Let me go ahead and use the light and give you a little look down in there. Unfortunately, this is a custom item, so it's going to take you longer to get. All right, guys, I figured no better way than to show you how this works out than to just put it on and get in front of the camera here. Uh, so far, what I can tell you is, is it feels very comfortable uh, sitting, standing, moving around. I want to take at least a couple months to give you a full review on the Raven Concealment uh, light holders. But as of right now, I can tell you that it's very comfortable. Nothing's in the way. Nothing, even if I have a shirt over it and I sit down, it doesn't touch my skin. It's right where I would need it to be. Basically, the premise of this is instead of fishing for it in, in a rear pocket and having to go for it uh, sometimes more maybe of an awkward angle when you get it out, this has it right where your arm naturally and your wrist and your hand would be. And whenever you grab it, you're going to be in the right position to use this light. So you grab it out and, you know, you're right there. Your thumb's right there rather than getting it out of the pocket and then coming up and then changing grip a little bit, okay? I really never had any problems with this in the pocket like that, but this is the route I wanted to go. It locks in very, very well. I mean, the fit on this Raven Concealment to light holder is perfect. Uh, they happen to be in Ohio. I ordered this uh, from them. It's a custom item, unfortunately. And it takes longer to get to you, but this is $49.99. Um, I contacted me, 
This isn't a uh, this isn't a review our stuff and we send you this for free. I paid forty nine ninety nine for this. I actually had to pay tax too because I live in Ohio. But um, yeah, the Raven Concealment doesn't know who I am. Okay, I'm just a guy that ordered a light holder. They have several different light holders. Um, but like I said, what I really like is it's up out of the way. My pockets are free. This now gives me more room uh, for a knife. Um, by the way, I'd like to get the Benchmade Griptilian American Sniper Edition. Uh, that's <laughs> I really want that knife bad. <laughs> but anyway, it, it, it frees up room in your pockets. I keep my... Uh, I'm filming with my iPhone 6 Plus, but I keep it right here, and I'm getting the phone in and out with no no problems. You know, you got to check all your all the things when you when you try out new gear like this. You have to have all your bases covered. So with, you know, with the phone in and out, there's no problem getting that phone quickly. And once again, the light's right there, and you're on it. I mean, you can have this light in a second. You know, not not saying that you'll will necessarily need this light. Um, high speed draw, <laughs> but when you need the light, it's there and it's in the position. And to me, it's better than having it in my pocket. That's just my opinion on it. Um, even with the clip on there, this thing is built so that no matter where you put it, see how the clip is back here by the Kydex toward me? Nothing touches. See the clip still moves? It doesn't affect it, bend it, or harm it. You can uh, keep the clip on this and put this back in any way you like. See the clips toward me. Clip out. Um, and I, I really, really am impressed, guys, with this. Really impressed with that. And something I'm going to, um, something that I'll be uh, using quite often. Okay, now let's go to uh, the Bravo Concealment Holster. I figured since I was going to show you that, I might as well put on this and show you... Uh, what I've been carrying and how I like this setup so far. First of all, let me tell you once again, thanks to a very helpful viewer. I always get tons of help from my viewers in the comments and um, you won't believe the items I've ordered off of recommendations after I've looked into an item that somebody mentioned on my channel. You have no idea uh, how much it's helped me. Okay, Somebody might mention something and I check it out and I see that I like it, and then I order it. Well, somebody told me that to order the, it's called pancake loops for this holster. And what it does is they spread out a little bit, and they pull this in closer to the body. Um, they look like they really work. I've looked at them, and that's what they're designed to do, bring the gun in a little closer. I've ordered those as of today. So it says ships within one business day. As of right now, you can see what I was talking about, how there's just a little bit. The gun goes outward just a little bit. Pancake loops will remedy that. But uh, there it is, the Surefire X300 Ultra. Um, Vickers Glock 17. Really like this setup. Uh, what I really, really like, too, is the RTF2 frame that you get on this guy. I love the feeling of that. It helps me get a much more secure grip. I'm still learning this holster. I'm actually starting to get a little bit better at it. Um, the reholstering, I was having a little bit of trouble with because of this having a weapons light on it. Just the dynamics of this holster was a little bit different. But so basically, we would be coming down, pushing just a touch. Notice my trigger finger, and then we're coming up. Out of the holster I would continue to come up twist the gun support hand would meet the gun and rotate you can't see this now off camera and as I push out I'm right in line for a shot or uh, my right hand thumb to activate the light on the right side with my off hand but yeah definitely getting a little bit better at that it's kind of fumbling with that I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna hey, I'm telling you guys the truth um, I want to tell you the truth in these reviews. When I first got this holster and I had it on my side, I was fumbling with the with getting this in a little bit, okay? And um, I can see a reflection across from me in the TV a little bit, but I'm telling you guys I'm a lot better at reholstering this than I was. I just, I really like this setup. I think it's nice. I think it's great to have a light on the weapon. And I, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, I believe it was... $73 shipped. No, I'm sorry, $73 plus shipping. 
and it was a quick ship item that ships within one to five business days. I believe this is called the BCA. It has just a slight cant to it, just a 10 degree cant forward, and I like that. Uh, it, you know, if you're a guy that says, well, I like a straight up draw, there's, I don't believe this is enough of a cant to, uh, to, you know, to turn you away from this holster. I really like it myself. I mean, it's nice, it's quick, it's easy, the gun locks and fits good. You don't have to get a light bearing holster either. Uh, you can also get a, just a standard holster for your gun. And I recommend Bravo Concealment if you're wanting to do that. So there it is, guys. The Raven Concealment Light Holder. They make light holders for several different models of lights. At this point in time, I am going to say that I definitely recommend this. If that changes at any time, you will know as soon as I do. Uh, that's one of the thing. That's one of the great things about non-sponsored reviews like this. Um, if something happens, you know, within the first couple months of me wearing this, or there's a problem, I just get right back on camera and tell you, hey, this is what's going on. You know, I don't have anybody to answer to. Um, you know, if I talk about problems with it. So there it is, guys. I'm really happy with it, though. It feels much better, much more secure. This really feels like it's locked on. Another thing is, too, with these loops that the belt has to go through, they don't clip over the belt. I mean, these loops are, the belt is through them. You do have a much more secure feeling with your equipment, just like my gun here. I like the crossbreeds in that, and I will continue to use those and have those and carry with those. But there is just a little bit more of a confident feeling when I have these hard loops that are that are screwed in with Chicago screws and they have the solid uh, loops on the back it's like you know there's no possible way that anything could ever come out except for the gun this is this you know you would have to break this double leather gun belt in order for this holster to ever be able to move anywhere. It's on there. It ain't coming it ain't coming anywhere. You could probably pick me up by this holster. <laughs> but uh there is a little bit of confidence in that. Now like I said, I still like the the um crossbreed, the Aegis Armory and all those. I will always continue to wear those. I've never had an issue with those. But I just wanna I'm just being totally hundred percent honest. There's a there I noticed that there was a little bit more peace of mind when I wear this out and I have the hard screwed in loops on the back with no opening that you know that a hundred percent that <laughs> this is going nowhere unless you unless you take off your belt and you want it to so that's it guys just wanted to give you an update on both things I hope you like this video if you have any questions uh, just put them down below any comments put them down below this is H4T I appreciate you watching and I am out